Hello, I'm excited to show you Como's latest Bundleboard Eye interactive display. In partnership with Google, we made one of the most powerful interactive screens to date with 8GB of RAM and 128GB of expandable storage. This board not only has 40 points of touch, it has a whole 50 points of interactive touch points. The Bundleboard Eye comes in sizes of 65, 75, and 86 inches. The board comes with a silky smooth premium glass for a more superior feel. To write on the screen, you can use your fingers or the two pens included with the screen. Dive into the world of Google Play Store and choose from thousands of apps by clicking download. When you have downloaded your favorite apps, you can go to the apps button and add your favorite apps right into the home screen. You can also add fun widgets onto the front of your board by clicking and holding, add widgets, The board has built-in mics for Google Voice Search. Hey Google, what's the temperature today? Today in Wixom, expect a high of 66 degrees and a low of 53 degrees. With the interactive screen, you can access an array of different apps such as the Chrome. With the Chrome, you can access virtually any website. The board has fun tools such as the Clock app, where you can set you can set reminders right here, as well as countdown timers. The board has a really awesome split screen mode that allows you to utilize multiple apps at the same time. To access the split screen, just go to the apps that you want to open. Click on your tasks. Over here, you will see a split screen mode. And let me add a whiteboard along with this video. The Bundleboard Eye has a convenient side toolbar that can be accessed on any input or app. You have your home button that takes you home, back button takes you back a step, tasks show you all your running applications, you have an apps button right here, also found on the home screen. We also have a screenshot button, where you can take a screenshot of anything, overlay annotation, which allows you to write on top of anything. So let's pull up something I want to write on. I'll go to my file explorer. In my file explorer, I have linked my Google account. So now I have access to all my files right from the board. Now I can go ahead and write on this document. If I want to save it, I can click on the save button over here. If I want to see where that's saved, I can click on more, go to finder. It's going to prompt you that when you exit out, it will clear the screen. So I'll click change. And now I can see that my file was saved right into my local drive. On the toolbar, you also have quick access to your digital whiteboard, easy volume control, access to your external inputs as well as your Android system. It's also where you find your display settings and audio settings. Under the More button, we have fun tools built right into the screen. Some tools include a floating timer, a zoom feature to magnify your content, a stopwatch, which is great for group activities,
in the spotlight to draw attention to certain items. The board even has an instant poll feature where the participants can join through a link or QR code. You can then select a multiple choice poll to go with your displayed content. See the results in live time. To access your file explorer again, just click on Finder. Here you see a range of different folders. Mark is everything that I have done overlay annotation on. So my earlier file right here, you see right there. We also have our download. So if you save anything from the internet, it gets stored right here. Notes, then downloads is everything that gets saved on the whiteboard. And you're also able to create different folders as well by clicking here. Again, you also have at quick access to your recents. So this is everything I've saved recently, as well as your cloud drive, which you can also link your OneDrive as well. You can add additional cloud drives by clicking on the three buttons and clicking Finding Cloud. And now you can add another account on here. Let's dive into one of my favorite tools, the Como Whiteboard app. Under the menu, you can import various types of documents, or you can start from scratch by adjusting your background color or style. There are different pen options where you can adjust the thickness, You also have different stroke types. The pen has dual pen tips, so you can change the stroke and color of one side versus the other. There's also an option to recognize your finger as a select tool instead of a pen. There is a smart pen tool that converts writing to text as well as writing to objects. There is also a spot eraser, palm eraser, clear screen button. The whiteboard has countless built-in tools such as rulers, shapes, split screen annotation, tables, charts, sticky notes, writing templates, selecting Google search right from the whiteboard, inserting screenshots. It even has a cool 3D solar system diagram. Not to mention a formula generator. And you can also insert YouTube videos for easy access. When you are done creating, you can flip through your slides and you can save it onto your board, your drive, or share it through a QR code. To connect an external device to the board, you can either utilize the onboard inputs with HDMI and USB ports being located on the front and back, or you can utilize a wireless sharing feature built into the screen. Windows and Mac allows for full wireless control through casting through the green sharing app. The screen supports casting up to nine devices simultaneously 
and also supports AirPlay, Miracast, and Chromecast. Additionally, through the same wireless sharing app, you can also send files directly to the board. Here is my PDF file that I just sent over. One really cool setting I like is the active annotation mode. To activate that, go to your settings. Advanced. Stylus. Turn this on. Now when you use your stylus, all you have to do is pick it up and draw. With this, the board will be able to recognize the stylus as well as your fingers. The board comes equipped with an NFC sensor right here. To add an NFC card to the board, go to your settings, systems, multi-user, Over here, you can add additional users to your board, or you can just use your NFC card to lock the screen. To add your NFC card, click on Add NFC. You'll see a prompt pop up. Take your card, tap it. You'll see that this will turn green and click Add NFC. Now when I'm done for the day, I can just click on and that will lock my screen. I can leave for lunch, come back, and just look up, and you're back in your account. If you have multi-profile set up, you can also tap in to access a different account. You can add additional users by going into the settings and clicking Add User Next. And when you click on switch to guests, it'll go through the prompts to set up a new user. Now that I have a new profile set up, I can assign this to another guest. And when I'm ready to switch back to my other user, I can go to users, click on the lock button. Over here, you can see all of our users. Because I already have my program NFC card, I can just tap on here. Tap it again. And there you go, I'm back on my profile. Thank you so much for joining me on my tutorial of the Bundle Board Eye. If you have any questions, please contact us at www.como.com.